So we have a 208 240 contactor here. I do have my electrical disconnect on the wall and the power is off. And here is the whip that runs through the unit right here. It is tied on with the lock nut to make it secure to the unit so nobody can pull that off. So I, from the electric panel to the disconnect, I have a, a wire running there and then from the disconnect to turn the power off to the unit, uh, here are the two wires from that. So I have, with this being a 240 two pole breaker in the main, we have two 120 volt wires and we have a ground wire. So in order to wire up this contactor, I'm gonna put one lug here on this terminal on L1 and I got a L2 over here. Uh, and then I will screw my ground to the ground terminal on the unit. All right, so now I have one terminal block done and I have my second black wire in the contactor. So you can see one there, one there, and I have my ground here and I'm just gonna tighten all of these down so we have a secure connection. You always want to make sure these are tight so they don't cause an electrical fire. All right, and then when power comes in and this contactor pulls in from the thermostat, these two wires uh, pulling in that contactor, that 24 volt coil, it'll send power to the compressor and the fan motor. And obviously the, the board will be powered uh, by 24 volts. That is how you wire up a 240, 208, 24 volt contact.